you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought Bro, shut your old. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. Dusty head. Back up, oh, bro. God. It's not her fault. I don't need your help, Bigby. <laughs> I'm trying to assign Maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. What is up, guys? It's King here, back with another video. Wolf Among Us, episode two. So, currently, episode one got like 20 views right now. So, uh,. I've heard some positive reviews, so I'm excited to keep this uh, series going. Let me get rid of these rights because we can. But, uh, quick question. Uh, y'all see me right now? Like, uh, look, my junk keep changing. You see that? You see that, that junk's stupid. If y'all, if y'all know how to fix that, let me know in the comments, all right? Like, please, because that junk was getting on my nerves. I was setting it up. All right, let's continue where we left off. All right, guys, if I'm not mistaken, this is where we left off. Big B uh, went, in, went to sleep and stuff. But who'd that be at the door? Big B. <laughs> Snow. Snow White. <laughs> No. Snow. What? Sorry, I'm. What is it? Bro, she. She's super flustered. What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to. Oh. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or oh, who's this random. <laughs> yeah. Creepy looking dude. Get out of here, man. Yeah, she she sees it too. Are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Who gonna be listening in on us? Oh, I remember what happened now. Hmm. This man's still sleeping, bro. Fire him. Okay, I got a quick question. After we reveal what's under this jacket. Bro, snow looks... Snow look good. Dirtied. No. Dirtied. You. He was like, <laughs> I was trying to hit. <laughs> a road. Not a Monday, right? I mean, who knows what she was? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Faith Town. She looks familiar. Bruh, she was, she but like, we don't need to put all of her business out everywhere. Didn't have a whole lot of time to chat. Before her head got cut off. Okay, here's my question. Did Snow White come out and was like, Ugh, head! Put a jacket over it. And they came in and told me? Like, she couldn't have wrapped that junk up? I don't know. I don't know. Beauty was at the... Beauty was just there. No cabs. No voices. Mondays. Maybe, but no, I don't think so. I would remember. Okay. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I don't remember like exactly what happened in the junk. All I know, like this junk was deep. I'll have a look around. Like if y'all think y'all know Which who did it, y'all wrong. And if the next episode after after that, you think you know who did it, you still wrong. Bro, they bodied her John. I don't even God. What did this to her? Dang. What could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something with 
magic attached to it. It was like slink. That junk came clean up. She'll got that. Some care. Bop oh right God. on her eye. You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind Intricate. Of What is that in her mouth? What they do that? What they do to her? It's a ribbon. Dang, they was like Some kind of symbol here. Pause. Pause. I, I don't pause it. on that. Neither do I. I swear to God, if I'm getting done recording and the game Sorry. is too loud because like I turned the game volume up because in the last episode I feel like it was too low. If it's louder than it needs to be, I'm gonna be pissed. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna upload it anyway though. Well, I'm gonna investigate more. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. I know I'm good at making good ideas, Snow. Recognize. Alright, I know uh, I saw this in the cutscene, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So somebody was like, shwink, ran over. No, no, no. They must have came from over here because the blood trail is over here. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. They freshly murdered this girl. And then they got either they got cut on this fence, yep, more blood. or she Some was leaking the while they were just on. carrying her head, Check dragging that junk across the city. Blood. Yeah, we know that, Big B. Sharp enough. No, they didn't cut her head off with the fence gate. What kind of junk is that? If her body in here, I swear to God. Just some loose trash. But what's inside that bag, though, Big B? There's a plastic bag up in. There. What is this? Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Jeans. We know anyone who be wearing jeans around here. Everybody in jeans getting caught up. Wear jeans, you die. What is that? Oh no, that's just a tree, man. I swear to God, beauty, if you in this bush, we throwing hands. There? Okay, is that it? All right, that's it. Uh, bro, where are you walking at? I need to give a USB, uh, what are you doing? micro USB, so I can connect my. Sure. Oh, he was checking over sure. her junk. We don't have he was like, do. "What you know about this snow?" Did he say which jeans she wearing a skirt? What are you talking about, Big B? Move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be I don't want to move her. I'm sure of it. It's Maybe a severed head. You move her. What's going on? They obviously did it on purpose. They were showing it to us on purpose. I don't know, Big They wanted to tell us something. Complaints at the office all the time, but just what about this makes you think that? Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact, purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Yeah. Well, yes. I guess you're right. I am right, Snow. I always wanted us to know no. what they had done. I'm gonna have to talk Crane about this. As okay, let me. King Cole is gone. He's acting mayor. He needs to know. Who's King Cole? He's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. 
I guess I already snow, but like out. that's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part Bro, of the process. not gonna lie, I watched Berlizzi play this junk. I'm not. I just don't want him interfering. And he failed to get the coup from Snow. So I gotta I gotta do what he couldn't. I shall finish what he started. So we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. I don't even know if it's possible though, so if it's not, I'm gonna be feeling retarded. I should start saying stupid more instead of retarded, but what are they gonna do? Demonetize me? Who are you looking at? Bro? What are you blind? What are you Don't ugly? There's a line. I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in. Boy, I'm a sheriff. What are you talking about? Sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. What? That didn't feel very genuine. You can sit down. You don't work here, so shut up. All right, we can fight. We fighting him. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought Bro, shut your as as old. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. Dusty head. Back up, oh, bro. On. It's not her fault. I don't need your help, Big B. Maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, says the man who is most to blame for this catastrophe. How convenient. Bro, I'm tired of both y'all already. You are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. How am I supposed to keep me? Are there any leads? Suspects? Any this junk just happened like two hours ago. What are you talking about? Evidence. You two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Bro, oh, fire me, man, because I'm tidy. Her pimp. Her... Was she a... Yeah. She was worried about a money situation. You're a ham, bro. This is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. I know, I. You, to handle on this you look quickly, ugly, my man. I'm sorry. Is all of fable town That's probably why he's salty stuff. right now. Snow. Yes. You old dusty. Sir. Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm, I'm not trying to curse. My massage. I will. Of course, you got to get a massage. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Forget it. Can't do anything right. This man, I should fight him. Do your right? job, Sheriff. Or we'll find mm. someone who can. Man. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away. Sir. You're so lucky. Snow looking out though, because he would have been like You would have just pissed him off more. Alright. Well that could have gone better. Well, that's why you don't tell nobody you nothing. Have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and- Man, screw Crane! Never mind. Smoke away. What an asshole. Yep. That was about an eight on the asshole scale. Asshole scale? <laughs> well, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> Is is he gone? This green beast yes. boy looking low. A drunk monkey. Buffkin. Hello, Miss. This man creeped me out though. How are his eyes Buffkin? black? This early? Where did you get that? What do you mean this early? Is this the next day? Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. Or is this like three in the morning or something like that? And that's why it was dark outside. You need to go to sleep. Bro, don't even look at me, bro. Keep your eyes closed. 
Why would I say that? Like, he hasn't even done anything to me. Like, fine, Bufkin. Thanks for asking. Bufkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. <laughs> the first three. Be back in a few minutes. All right, so. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here, somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Just be like, mirror, mirror on the wall. Freaking tell me who killed the girl or else I'm a shout of your junk, my man. I know that don't rhyme, but like, he'll get the message. Hey, magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. That junk is a stupid rule. Is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. Your rules are stupid. Mirror, mirror. I'm not even a rapper. If you're able, tell me all about this fable. See, was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. That's what I was saying, There's dude. No need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? The killer. <laughs> I don't know her name. Where does man woodsman at? Show me the woodsman. Where is he? This man. What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. I thought he was sneaking around on some Sorry, baby, sneaky junk already. Let me show you what can be seen. I'm going to exit because these two are right next to me. And he not going to find be able to find someone if I don't know her name. Nobody right now. So I'm going to come back well. after uh, Buff King gets her name. Or new. Yeah, yeah. Bro, you are so well, drunk sure right now. You're a monkey. Finally. Like that was like five seconds cutscene that didn't even need to happen. Bro, can you go where I want you to go? Oh, right here, right here. All right. Start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be. So basically, I'm gonna give y'all a quick rundown of these fables, and I'm not about to do this for every single one, right? So right here, Snow White, Seven Dwarves. You know their story. I ain't doing that. A snow right there. That's me, Big B. The woodsman cut my junk open, filled me with stones, threw me in a river. You know. Trying to protect Little Red Riding Hood or whatever. That thought right there. Uh, Beauty and the Beast. Uh, Bella and Beast or whatever. The three little pigs over there. Now, I'm going to do the ones that I... I'm not about to do these two animals. Let me see what that. That's, that's, the, that's the old guy. The old uh, freaking uh, stuck up guy. Getting chased by the headless horseman, so his story was freaking stupid. This one is the one we need to know about, though. I've seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. I got a book of symbols. Hey, we got Cinderella, whatever that thing is. Freaking a bow and arrow. This right here, right? Oh, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. How they gonna have a book in a language you can't read when y'all all fables? Y'all should be able to speak the same language. I don't ever do it. This is the one. Where 
is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alairo? I'll go look it up. Alairo. Dang, this man got a flyway and look up Alairo. stuff. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin. Also known as <laughs> ass skin. <laughs> Uh, prefers to go by Bro, can name. you shut up? Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Trey. Ew! That joke dirty. And a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. That's disgusting. Should I mock it, Miss Snow? Yes. That totally killed, killed the, the vibe, too. Like, not my vibe, but like. What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. They're gonna be Prince Lawrence, Lawrence and marry this and girl and then let her be a prostitute. To Prince Lawrence? I mean, that's more than her we... name was Faith. Yeah. You should talk to the husband. You think he did it? No, but like... Well, you can't rule out anybody, but we can't rule him out. I got He's a not really like suspect, suspect, but he could give us clues to the crime. What else? We're done here, right? Oh no, 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 no! Why would I find Violet? She dead. Or Faith? Why did I say Violet? Can I talk to you, Snow? There's nothing else for me to do here. All right, never mind. I'm out. Oh my god. Bro, I'm tired of this Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. Is that me? Why do I assume every wolf is me? Give me another card. What is this? Yu-Gi-Oh? The tower. You just jump? She was like, miss me with this tower junk. Damn. Dirty. What the fuck is this supposed to mean? <laughs> he kept that junk. He was like, give me that. Oh, I haven't seen this before. You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. That didn't even rhyme. I gonna disobey your own rule. I'm gonna talk to him anyways, cause like, there's nothing else for me to do Here right now. Blah blah able, blah 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 about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Uh, Prince Lawrence. Show me Prince Lawrence. This man did not just kill himself. Doing? There's a bloody knife on the ground. Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince? That could have cut off her head. Prince probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. All right, then, let's go. We don't need to know about nobody else. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on. Let's go then, oh, no. boys. Sorry, I have to get that. Who is it now? Hello. What Better not be the on? one old guy. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Better not be a call for me. It's for you. 
Of course. You there? What do you want? Big B. Shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Big B, before he. Oh, well, hang on. Bro, get him. Oh my god. Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. Well, you just go there. And then I'll go to Toad. And then I'll meet you back up. Anyway, to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. What do you mean, Toad might have to wait? Isn't this man getting messed up right now? Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince <laughs> Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? You go to Prince Lawrence, and then I'll go to Toad. There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? Ooh, a choice! Lawrence. Y'all already heard what I was saying. Oh, sounds like he needs help right now. Dang, I thought they were like gonna be like, Are you sure you want to choose this choice? Choose this one or whatever, but they were just like, All right, you chose, let's get out of here. All right, guys, I'm in the episode right there on that cliffhanger, but don't worry, I'm about to record episode three soon. Well, not today because it's late, I gotta get to sleep. But uh, thanks for watching. If you got this far, thanks for watching this video. Uh, do I need to say anything else? Uh, I don't really, I don't really think I got anything else to say other than uh, go check out all uh the other Flux Gang members' channels. We got six members: Cash, Grim, uh, Captain, Swift, Ice, and me. Go check them out. We we uh. They do some pretty good content. Like we stepping our stuff up, but like we still uh, we still working on stuff. But go check out their stuff. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.